Well, hello there. Welcome to the Obi Thorn Alliance. I'm Jacob, and I'm Luke. And in today's video, we are reacting to the new Batman trailer, the the Bat and the Cat. Like and subscribe. It helps out the channel quite a lot. Hit the notification bell. Comment down below with. This trailer is, I guess, better than the other trailer. It makes you more pumped to see the movie. I know you have different expectations after um, this trailer. Uh, what? Why is that? Well, you know, the first the first trailer made the movie seem okay. You know, and I've mm. been skeptical about Robert Pattinson playing Batman. Mm. Not that I didn't think he could do a good job. He just doesn't seem. They just. I don't think they made him look right. Mm. In my opinion, he looks a bit sloppy and dark and gothic for Bruce Wayne, where for me Bruce Wayne has always been, you know, this rich guy that's kind of like frolics around with women and looks good. Like, he doesn't look attractive in this. It kind of goes against what I've thought of Bruce Wayne. Uh, so that that was one thing from the first trailer that made it a bit interesting. I've heard good things about this trailer. I believe we find out a bit more about Riddler as the villain and gives a bit more context to the movie. But I, I have came around to accepting the fact that they might, they're not really remaking Batman movies. They're just making new variations of Batman and different retellings of the story. And I'm accepting that now and it's making me more excited about it. Because I used to get upset thinking, why do they keep doing it? Like, I think Christopher Nolan's version was perfect, but that's fine. You know, they can just redo it. And I think thanks to the coming around to terms with this multiverse idea that Marvel plays with, it's making me think, it's fine. This is just a different multiverse. You know, this is a different Batman and their version of it, and it's fine. If it's a good movie with a good villain, it's fine. You can't have the same Batman forever. And I guess it's the same as James Bond. When we get a new James Bond, I'm going to have to come to terms with this again. And for both of us, it's our third most anticipated movie of this year, so... Yeah, we're not too far away. Is it March? Yeah, March. It? Yeah, so we're within a month or so of seeing it. So I'm excited to see what this trailer brings and see if we can... Well, it says it implies cat, so I didn't realise the cat woman was actually in this movie. So we're going to get to see a bit of um, Selena Kyle. Mm. Well, let's react. See the Batman build straight away. Yeah, it's a different kind of Batmobile, but they're never the same. See what I mean? I just don't think he looks good. charming and handsome as in Batman. Mm. Could be Bruce Wayne, so. Well, he looks sick. Mm. So he's got cancer or something. Great choice as a villain, great choice. It's an interesting style they went for him. Like, I don't think the Riddler should be wearing a big top hat and a lime green suit. He's, like, covered in tape, I think, God. Riddler's latest. It's all about the Waynes. If we don't stand up, no one will. You got a lot of cats. Hmm? I have a thing about strays. After Tom Gotham, the same actor uh, that played um, Golem. Come on, 
Wow, that was a great trailer. It, do, it does make it seem a lot better, doesn't it, compared to yep. the first, first the, one? The first one wasn't as good to compared to that one. Yeah. I'm really liking the idea of the Riddler being a villain. Yeah, it's interesting that they have chose him for this version of Batman, but I think they have definitely made a really good choice. I think it will be interesting to see what the Riddler knows about the Wayne's history and finding out and that that has made me really pumped for the movie now the first trailer i was like yeah i'm a batman fan it deserves to be in the most anticipated but now it might be even tied with number one with doctor strange and multiverse of madness i think they've I think maybe they've chose the Riddler because of the Gotham series, that the Riddler mm. was the like a big part of that, and they realised that people liked that. He was twisted. Yeah. I think that implied the Waynes had some like dark secrets they wanted to carry on with that. And I guess that's something that, I don't know, throughout the comic books is probably a consistent theme, that the Waynes have some kind of dark history. You don't become that wealthy out of nowhere. And the fact that someone wanted to kill Martha and um, Bruce's dad, there's got to be something about them doing dodgy stuff. And he's a good choice. He has no superpowers. He's just an intelligent person that his smarts is what keeps him ahead. And it it will be cool to see what, what drives him to be this cunning towards the Waynes. Yeah, that's my preferred choice of villain is someone like that. that the is, Joker. That isn't all about powers. I know Batman falls into a universe where there is people with superpowers, but I do like it when he has the standalone films and he's not fighting someone of supernatural strength. Like, you can just imagine maybe Batman is the only superhero in his world. He lives in a town full of crime and he fights crime. And he is a rich dude that has access to... Weapons that others don't like that is reasonable. Batman can exist. That's not unreasonable And you know what someone could be the Riddler. That's not unreasonable either. So I think I, I like that mm. So I do think I'm this is definitely up my most anticipated movie now And do you think they cast um, Catwoman? Well, I don't recognize the actress that she's definitely a uh... Attractive. Uh, I've seen her in things. I can't think of what they are, but she's definitely in some stuff. Uh, she seems fine. I've just gone with the... Attractive. Well, a younger Halle Berry, really, I think. Mm. I think they wanted. They thought Halle Berry was the, the best Catwoman, so they wanted to recast someone that just looked like her, but younger. Mm. Um, so I, I think that's fair enough. Um, yeah, I think it's a good choice. I'm still unsure about their perception of... Robert Pattinson as Bruce mm. Wayne. I don't say, not saying he's a bad choice. He just looks dark, sick, gothic. Something not right about him. Where I, I like the idea of Bruce Wayne being this attractive billionaire that ladies frolic around, and he's, but he doesn't look like that's what they want to portray in this film. He doesn't seem like he cares about that stuff. He's just, you know, I'm sad. My parents are dead. You know? Like I don't like that. I don't, I don't want to see sad Bruce Wayne. Do you like how they have portrayed the... It sounds like you like the villain, how they're portraying him more to the hero. Yeah, I like their version of the villain. And, you know, he might be a good Batman. And maybe that's just what the trails have made us seem. But he just looks like he's sad. Like, <laughs> I just... like I, I think we're beyond that. He's an adult now. He was sad <laughs> as a kid. And now he's an adult and he's enjoying his wealth. He and, can't move forward. Well, I You've got to move forward. I think that's the point with Bat... What I like about Batman is, you know what, he... He, you know, he grew up without parents, which gave him this dark edge. But ultimately, he was a billionaire. So he was like, wow, you know, I've got all this money. I'm going to go to a fancy school and I'm going to go party and drive Lamborghinis. And that. And then there's a point where he goes, oh, I need to give back to this city. And he becomes a hero where this looks like he's like dark his whole life and like trained. And I noticed in the, tra in the first trailer, he said, I'm vengeance. And then even Catwoman said, oh, you said you were Avengers and now you're saviour? Yeah, so he jumped, the, in that trailer, he jumps off the building. I feel like the, they took the audio from a different scene, but she goes, she's like, oh, she's, she calls him Vengeance as well. Yeah. So they, they really want to play on that because 
you know, they, they do talk about in the cartoons and the comics about Batman being, he is the vengeance. He's been like, he's, he's seeking vengeance, which is the whole idea, you know, other, other heroes are, you know, fighting to defend earth or doing something, but his is vengeance for what he had, what happened to his parents. So do you think with the movie, they'll either do two things, they'll kill off the Riddler and make it for the next, like, movie, because they're doing three movies with Robert Patterson that they'll do, for those movies, two other villains, or would you prefer it that he just fights the Riddler for the next movie, or what would you prefer? I think I'd like to see a new villain, but I'd like to see it get planted towards the end of the film, or, like, some kind of indication at the end of, like, a, like an Easter egg. But I, I don't... I don't know about the Riddler dying. They don't tend to kill off characters, but... I, I just assume that he gets caught and imprisoned or something. Because remember in the first trailer, he did go to prison. So do you think that could be Wakan Phoenix's um, Joker? Because they are making a Joker too. I don't know if they're planning to put them two in their own universe. Um, Who do you in think? The same, uh, I don't know. I feel like he's gone to visit someone. Someone else, but I, I don't know about the Joker because I think this movie's supposedly Batman at the start of his career, mm. and the Joker is Batman's ultimate villain. So I I wouldn't imagine the Joker would be in prison already, mm. but then possibly he went to prison before even fighting Batman, and then he escapes, and then he continues to reign havoc. But yeah, I'm not sure if their paths are meant to cross. I'm thinking no. But I, I'm not sure. But he could be going to... I'd hate to see if he went and spoke to another Joker. I'd hate to see another Joker just for the sake of it. But I feel like maybe he's going to get advice from someone different. Or maybe he's purely interrogating the Riddler. Like, maybe they capture the Riddler. But at the start of the movie. Well, yeah, maybe not the start, but at some point. But he still has some master plan that's happening on the outside. And they're like trying to be like tell us what you're gonna do like we need to know and he's like well it's too late now you need to solve these clues hmm. you can start here and then sends batman on like a wild goose chase kind of thing so he's still orchestrating from prison so why do you feel like they released the first trailer first and then this one because wouldn't you release your big guns first to hype up people because i feel more hyped from this trailer than the other one like the other one is I think their idea is you plant the seed with something small, so the fans love it, and the... Well, I didn't like the other one. Well, I, but I guess the super fans will love it, they hope, and others will get a little bit pumped, but most people won't see the first trailer. Mm. Like, this one is, you know, it's a month out from the, the release, so this is the one that's really... It's the one that's going to be in cinemas, it's the one that everyone's going to see. Because you go see a movie today, it, that trailer will come up. So, unless you go see, like, a kid's movie. So, I think that this is their main release. The other one was kind of like a teaser. Mm. You think of it that way? Mm, fair enough, I guess. So, they, like, you want your best trailer to be the one that comes out leading up to the release. So, people watch it and they go, damn, that looks good. And, like, it comes out in a month. Like, mm. they want that to happen. They don't want you to go, wow, I can't wait to see this movie. When does it come out? Next year, <laughs> like you don't want to do it because then you like you're gonna upset people. You want to hit them with the right now, so people go, "Oh, let's go online and start booking tickets for this." Mm. So that like they want to, you want your best trailer to be last. So to me, it sounds like besides everything else, you're hyped for it's just the casting choice and maybe the direction of the character. It sounds like to me, you don't like that they're. Making them all sad and all yeah. mopey and all... Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the casting choice. I just think the direction, you know. Like, a, Robert Pattinson could definitely play, like, a... You know, like, a, a pretty boy, rich philanthropist. Like, I don't... I, I believe that of him. I think that suits him. But they've decided to go dark and his hair all pushed <laughs> down. And he looks all, all upset. You know, like, I, don't, I just don't know why. <laughs> Um, Maybe they're making you, they're making you assume or make you interested in that look of Batman because it's like, why is he like that? Yeah, well, I think they're trying to imply in this that he's kind of quiet and not involved and like, because he's getting interviewed by someone 
and they're saying, oh, you know, the, well, you need to do more for this city. You know, the, the Wayne family's had a rich history of doing stuff for this city, but you don't do anything. Like, you just, like, and it's almost like, people, lazy yeah, like people don't know who he is. And, like, is that the motivation factor? He goes, no, I'm going to become Batman. Mm. Like, so I think, I think that's different than where I think the others, he was, like, a playboy and out and about. And that's why people never suspected him of being Batman, because they're like, look at this guy. He couldn't be Batman. Like, <laughs> like out drinking and partying mm -hmm. so I, I think that I like that idea and I think they've gone with from the trailers it looks like a different perspective did you notice with um, Catwoman he she's like oh who's under the the mask but they spend time together when they're not in the masks yeah I, there's always that thing that like he so, for some reason him and Selena Kyle always have a love interest not as Batman and Catwoman, but then also as Batman and Catwoman, and they don't know that each other are each other. They don't buy that. Like, you could, you could see a picture... With, with technology, you could see a picture of either of those and be able to work out who it is in modern days. But we, I guess we don't know when this is meant to be set. Or not. So what's your expectations for the movie? I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be really epic, because the one thing that they got to get right is the villain. If the villain's good... The rest comes together. If it's a meaningless villain, then it doesn't matter how good your Batman is. It's just like, well, that's stupid. Why is he fighting that person? So I think I think it's set to be epic. And knowing that there's going to be two more gives me hope that they're setting up to be good. Like, they, if they're investing that much time and money in it, then they must believe it's going to be good. I think my expectation is way more hyped than uh, the trailer and... We are really looking forward to it. Yeah, awesome. Well, thank you for helping, Luke. Hope you enjoyed the trailer reaction to the bat and the cat. And, yeah, definitely be doing a review for it. Let the force be with you. Bye-bye.